one. Thank you. See? Dude knows what he's doing. Okay. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now, guys?
Making sure you can hear me before I keep on going. It's gonna take a second for it to pop up. Okay. Your camera is no, muted. That's delayed, it's delayed, hold on. Trust me, it's not muted, I just muted it. Okay. Okay, perfect. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So just a quick recap, because you can't hear me. Thanks to the, thanks to the producer. <laughs> he got me all fixed. Now you're going to have to check out these other channels. I'm Prophecy, mm -hmm. okay? Just you, they're, they're coming up. It's going to be a lot of music. There's going to be uh, different artists producing. We're going to have talks about uh, anything musical, news, everything. So all right. as we get going, let them finish up. Perfect. Quick recap real quick, guys. What I just said is that we're going to do a pizza pasta, a tiny of chicken, and a salmon poppy oat. Oven 375 is what I use, and then going for the pop here right here to get it set up for you. I have a salmon, I have an orange, lime, lemon, zucchini, squash, white wine. You need salt and pepper, and uh, we can go from there. And I said about the salmon, I got salmon here from the store. Had them already uh, get it for me, and it has skin on. If you don't want to have the skin on, you can have your butcher take it off, and it's ready for you to go. Also, this works well with tilapia, swordfish, tuna, mahi, snapper, whatever fish you want to use, this works. So we're going to start laying our ingredients right here on the paper, and then we're just going to wrap it up, a little bit of white wine here that we have, and bake it, and that's all you got to do. So, zucchini, depending on what you like, I have this knife right here, chef knife. Uh, if you don't have a good chef knife at home, you can go to Ross, TJ Maxx, Home Goods Store. Get a good, decent knife. So right here, hold your knife. Do a few, do a few cuts. Pizza pasta is coming up right after this one. We're gonna set this up. Just a few, few vegetables here. Same thing for your squash. All you do is lay it in the bottom. This is a real simple dish. I got mushrooms already pre-sliced. Ladies in the bottom as well. Very simple. Fish right on top. Like so, since I was touching fish, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick and then cut these oranges up, wrap it up, it's ready to go. How's it going, Travis? Next, here we go, our oranges right here. Just a few slices. Um, I, like the, I like the orange, the lemon, and the lime. Just really nice here. I have some good flavor. So when you cook it, you get that nice zest. Only about two slices of each will do you good. Layer it on top, like so. And see guys, right there, it's all set to go. Wrap it up. Close one end. The other end, go on top. We have our white wine right here. We'll get some Pinot Grigio if you like something sweeter. Go ahead and throw in your Moscato. A little bit of wine in there. The wine is going to be the method that we use for steaming the fish. Add a lot of great flavor to it. Thanks for the follow. As soon as I'm done, I will follow you back, Travis. Bam. Real simple, easy to go. Just to be ready for the oven. I'm going to put it to the side real quick while the oven finishes warming up. And then I'm going to go ahead and start the pizza pasta next. Let me just tidy this up real quick. Get this out the way. Here the oven just went off, so it's ready to go. Get this in the trash. Have a towel right here for a good wipe. Wipe off the knife, set to go. 
Now we do pizza pasta. You ever do your pizza, your pasta, the night before, and you don't want to have it again? So this is a new remake for you. So, a few ingredients you need. Pasta, of course. Today, I got some linguine. If you want to use fettuccine, spaghetti, if whatever you got works out perfectly. All you want to do for this right here is, normally you put oil in your pasta after you cool it off so it sticks together. You don't want to use oil so it sticks together. It's kind of clumpy. That's what you want for this dish to work because it's going to act as a pizza crust for you. Okay. Next, I have mozzarella cheese. If you don't want to use mozzarella, whatever you have at home, cheddar, doesn't matter. I have some mushrooms again. I'm going to re reuse it for another dish as well. And then right here, I have some chicken sausage that I got from the store. And it's pretty much whatever ingredients you have at home. I am using a PlayStation camera on the PS4. Yes, I am. And right here, we have some chicken sausage. If you want to use something else, you can. You have pepperoni. You have sausage at home. You have whatever ingredients you have in your fridge left over from the night before or whatever you have in your fridge just a total. You can use this on this pizza dish. So as this is going, I'm going to go through and get my stove going hot for the pan because that's going to get that working. I go about a medium high heat. While that's working, I'm going to assemble all this together. This chicken sausage right here is already cooked, so I'm just going to cut it up and add to it. If you buy like pepperoni, you can just throw it on there and it works just the same as fine. Also for a new dish, for a couscous dish for the chicken, just a pot, get some water going in it, a little bit of seasoning and you're good to go. All right. Get that water going hot. We're gonna get this sausage up. Depending on how big you like your pieces. Cut these up a little small. It fits right nice, perfectly on top of your pizza. We are cut up to go right there. And we also have our pasta, our cheese and mushrooms. So right now we're waiting for the pan to get hot. So what we're gonna do, this method is, pan gets hot, oil goes in, we get this, we get the pasta searing in the pan, wanna be a nice caramelization, real nice and a golden brown on the bottom before we flip it over, add our sauce, cheese ingredients. If you don't wanna use sauce, you wanna be kinda of a little bit low calorie on the sauce, you wanna use a light, low fat cheese, then uh, we'll do that. So, that's gonna sit. We're gonna go over here to this blue cutting board and we're gonna start the prep for the chicken. If also, if anybody knows, what are the different colors for when you, when you cook? You have a green, yellow, blue or tan. You have a white. Can you name the colors for me? Let me see your answers. And next we're gonna get this chicken going. This chicken dish has a thing called couscous in it. Couscous, like a rice pasta um, dish. We use that up together. I'm from Ohio, hence the Buckeye Chef, hence the Ohio State shirt right there. So right here, all we need to do, have a little small bowl. Just pour your couscous in the bowl. Don't need much, because just like rice, Just like some rice, you uh, it'll get water and go. Thank you. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna get some vegetables too to add to here and be real good. Also, you know what? Since we have wine left over, we're gonna have to drink it. We don't want it to go to waste, right? So, if you have wine left over from a bottle or you wanna buy a small bottle, drink. What better way to do than cooking and drinking? Makes you feel real good. 
Here's a shot for you guys. Ah. Remember that dish that we had for the zucchini and the squash from the pop yolk? Let's finish cutting it up. Another knife here. I like to have two knives when I cook sometime. Can do on multiple cutting boards. So this one, we cut our ends off. And we're gonna do small dice for it. But let me check my pan. It's about ready to go. Have the oil here. Anybody also know um, olive oil, EVO, really good, kind of help you for low-fat cooking. In your pan, coat it around in your pan, covers everything. Next we're going to throw our pasta. Just now I'm starting to sizzle. It's going to sit on there for anywhere for about three to three to five minutes or so. Get that bacon, get that going. The water that I have boiling for my couscous is just about done. Right here I'm cutting like dices for the couscous. The vegetables you can throw in raw and the water will help cook it. Same thing with your squash. Just a few pieces, don't need much. And you got it going. Get ready. Toss it in here. That's how it looks right there, guys. You have your, you have your couscous with the squash and zucchini. All set to go. I'm going to get rid of this, wash my hands again, and I'm going to get the chicken out and cut that up. Alright, so water is boiling right here for the couscous. Turn the water off nice and hot. Just pour it in your little bowl there. There we go. Pour the hot water in the bowl. That couscous now can just sit. It's going to soak up that water and it's going to be ready to go. Travis, thank you and I'll talk to you on Twitter. That can sit right now for about 10 minutes or so. And when we're done, that's ready to go. Let's get our tiny chicken ready. This right here is a simple dish too as well. We get a couple chicken breast out and the rest I'm gonna put back in the cooler. Now for this right here, I have a decent sized chicken breast, but you want to be able to cut your time in the kitchen and make them go a little bit faster. You don't want to sit there and uh, take forever in the oven and everything. So right here, I take this, I'm going to half these breasts a little bit. Hold your hand on top, slide your knife through, and just kind of finish. A little bit flatter, it'll cook a little bit faster too as well. And just so you don't have to worry about having to go out and buy a lot of uh, extra ingredients and spices and seasonings, I have to have a few that I brought with me that we can use here. So we're going to have salt, pepper, a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic, and some Italian seasonings. We're going to get that all nice and rubbed, sear it on both sides. But because it's thinner, it's going to cook all the way through, and then the chicken breast is ready to go in the pan, no oven, and cut your time in half a little bit. 
So, this hand is my chicken hand. I'm going to use my clean hand to get the stove on and get that other saute pan going hot. Take my stomach. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, other pan is going hot right now. I'm going to wash my hands, flip over my pasta, because it's about at that, that time, and we right add the ingredients. We're going to cover it and watch out. It's about to get real good. Once again, I have my towel I use for drying off my hands. Trying to keep them all separated so I don't, I don't contaminate anything. Just have to have separate towels. I know that all my towels are brown, but I do have separate towels. One for fat, another one, and this is my towel that I use for my hands. So, take my spatula. Let's check it out. The pot needs to go a little bit more. I'm going to crank the oven up just a touch. So I can go. This pan right here, I'm going to add my oil and add my seeds to the chicken and get that going. So, oil in the pan. Chicken. Never heard of pizza pasta? I right, a dish uh, that I kind of came up with. I was uh, bored one day. And I was tired of having some time leftovers. So I played with this and just said, what if I added ingredients of pizza that I love on some pasta? All right, so here we go next. Chicken's right here. We have some salt, a little bit of sprinkle. I use kosher salt. A little bit of black pepper here. Next, I got some uh, garlic powder. Thank you. I will follow you as well, too. I also work on Twitter. I do a lot of things where I check out new restaurants. I kind of go to food tastings and festivals around my Metroplex uh, network to meet people. I kind of like sometimes even get to throw down and cook with them as well, too. And that's always fun. Um, like this past weekend, we had a craft beer festival in Grapevine, Texas, and I went there, I networked, there's some food booths and menus, I got to go behind there and have some fun. The pasta is almost ready to flip, we'll be good to go in a second. Also, onion powder. These little containers you can get at your local store, really cheap. Really simple, really easy. Um, this is onion powder I got from uh, get your like dollar store or Walmart. All about saving money as well too. You don't want to go out and spend a lot of money. If you have money, I understand that, but some of us are balling on a budget. So we go here to you know Walmart, your dollar store, and um, get some onion powder spices and two for a dollar for a dollar. What's going on? Where in Texas are you from? And next also, we have some Italian seasonings. These are dried. We can also get some fresh ones if, we, if you want to. And let it sprinkle as well. It's gonna get nice color and caramelization and look so pretty. If I have, if I want to use fresh herbs, go and get some parsley, rosemary, and thyme. Mwah, magnifique, so good. This is going, pan's nice and hot, bring it over, it's got a nice and sear, I put both pieces in, get that going, actually yes, I am from Arlington, Texas, I am get, getting this food ready, showing you some new things, I have some friends that are going to come out here and have some lunch, so you'll see them pretty soon when all the food gets ready to be put up. I just washed my hands real quick. Now I'm also, the oven is hot. I'm gonna get my poppy yolk into the oven that we already did, which is right here. 
throw into the oven. That's working. That's going to be about anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how you like your fish. I like my fish around a medium rare medium, so I'm going to go about 10 to 12. If you like it less, you can go less, but it's going to always flow in that steam with that wine to add that flavor. So let's check that pasta one more time to make sure we're good to go. And we can flip it and add ingredients on there. Hey, what's going on East Texas? Ah, a nice golden brown. Just like the egg or omelet, I'm gonna flip it in the air. Perfect. Check that out, guys. Nice and brown, good, nice in color. It's all stuck together and it's perfect. So now what I do, I have my sauce, my cheese, my ingredients. I cover it, boom, ready to cook. So, have some pasta sauce here. Throw it on top. Don't need much. I'm gonna try and play it in front of you right here. So, I take this, this sauce, I smother it around. It's whatever sauce you used from the night before, okay? Next, after that, get your cheese that you have. If it'll open. <laughs> Smear this around here. Real nice. All right. So, there we go. I got my cheese on. Throw on the chicken sausage, which is already cooked. Right there. I'm gonna throw on some of these mushrooms that I have already sliced. I'm gonna try and stream every Tuesday, yes, around the same time. So if you wanna watch, you wanna get some good recipes, go ahead. If you wanna hit me on Twitter, and say, what do you like to see that you want to do differently in your kitchen? Like, what do you cook? Text me on, hit me up on Twitter, let me know. And next week, I will reinvent your meals for you at home. Everything you already have, change the recipe up. So then, depending on if you like your cheese kind of cheesy, a little more cheese on top. Look at that right there. Bam. I'm going to go on the stove. It's going to finish cooking on the bottom. And then we're going to, my cheese is going to melt. It's going to be ready to go. Back on the stove. Chicken's working over here. All those ingredients that I put on the on the bottom layer when I seared it, I'm gonna put on that top layer as well in the same order. So, we have that salt. We have the pepper. The garlic. The onion powder. And these dried Italian seasonings. Thank you. I'll look for you every Tuesday as well. I'm going to rinse my hands off again. I don't like to have stuff in my hand. When I cook, I can be fresh and clean and just keep it nice. Chef Snoopy is on every Saturday. I will check out Chef Snoopy and everything. Yes, make that pizza pasta. Also, if you want your pasta to be even a little bit quicker, when you put this on, we can cover it. So I'm gonna get another pan and cover that to make it go a little bit faster for you. So, it's working right here. Like so, I put a pan on top, and it acts as a steaming method to melt the cheese, finish the bottom, it's ready to go. So let me tidy it right here, because this pizza comes off. It's gonna sit right here, I'm gonna cut it and serve it. Check me out every Sunday, I sure will. Will you send me the link? Uh, do follow me on Twitter, uh, at the Buck Guy Chef. Send me your link and I'll watch you every Sunday. 
Okay. Let me clean these cutting boards off real quick. I'll be right back to on the on the station, and the piece of pasta will be ready to go. Okay. My last towel that I didn't use. Get your cleaning. Right there, it's all set. And this one's going to be all set as well too, ready to go. I always say I believe anybody can cook, it's just they need to be taught some things and just know a few basic trips and, tip and tips. Uh, I watch a lot of cooking shows sometimes and a lot of the people, they don't, they buy these ingredients and recipes that you got to go to the store and buy these ingredients. I don't believe in that. I try and use things I have at home and come with great dishes to uh, help you out, to use what you have. You can and save your money for other things. But for me, I am a chef. I work out in a restaurant out in South Lake, Texas. Um, and I just want to bring something new to everybody else. My recipes are usually unique and different and want to show you guys some different foods that you may not think about or do, like the pizza pasta. Right here, my chicken over here, just about ready. I'm going to flip it. A little more oil in the pan, the coloring boards. Okay. In the kitchen, we have different coloring boards for different things. White is for breads. Green is for fruits and vegetables. Yellow right here is for chicken. If you have a blue or you have um, a tan, it's for seafood. And red is for red meats, beef, pork, things of that nature. And you have all those colors right there, and you can just play with them. I keep quite a few at home. If you, you know, don't have all the colors, if you only have one, it doesn't really matter. Um, just try and scrub it really good. If you have like chicken or something on it before you go to a new item, that's like if you have chicken on here, right, chicken, I'm going to cut fruits and vegetables. Make sure, like I did, I went over there and cleaned it and scrubbed it, brought it back over, use it again before you, so you won't cross contaminate. Or, and one thing to do, these are plastic. I don't like wood, because the wood, if you have um, like red meats or chicken, that it soaks into the wood and messes it up. Barbecue sauce, I do. That can be something for next week. Um, I have a honey pomegranate barbecue. I have a balsamic barbecue. Depending on what you like, we can play with those for next week and make a good barbecue dish. We are in Texas, right? Okay. Ooh. That pizza pasta is just about ready. And uh, they're gonna it's gonna be ready to go here in about two minutes, I say. That papio is working. That's gonna be ready in about five minutes. This chicken that I have going on is still back here about five minutes as well too and we're all gonna be eating good but last things last for that Italian herb chicken I'm gonna make a little bit of a relish real quick pineapple tomato and some cilantro real quick real easy recipe so with your tomato you don't need much it's gonna go right on top Do a little bit of cuts, throw it in the bowl. Cilantro, if you don't like to play with cilantro, we can go. Um, I don't like, uh, I don't want to miss my cilantro, I want a nice little rough chop on it. So, a little rough chop on the cilantro. I like that flavor cilantro. Right now in Texas, we're having some pretty decent weather. It's kind of rainy. It almost feels like spring. Um, 
So this cilantro has a little crisp, refreshing, light, springy taste. Next we're going to add some pineapple. I kept the top off, put the bottom off so it won't slide around, won't be too, mo won't move too much. Chicken's ready. My pizza pasta is ready. I'm going to slide this over so you can check it out and see it. Check it out. Bam. All right. Woo. That is ready to go. See, just like a pizza, looks real good. There we go. Last things last, we'll finish up this pineapple. Don't need much of it. The rest, I can, uh, I can make into a drinks. Um, if to walk up, you can make it to a nice drink. If you have any, uh, just eat it as a fruit snack. There you go. I, I wash my hands um, all the time when I'm in the kitchen just to make sure that hands stay clean and everything else. Uh, don't try to touch too many things. If I touch something that's nasty, I wash them again. And I'm using the same cutting board that I cut my tomatoes and cilantro on for this. But works out really well. So, ah, that's a good idea. Never really thought about that, but thank you. Throw your pineapples in. Do one more slice of pineapple. is just about done. There we go. Relish is done. Let's move it out the way. Rinse off my knife. Let's cut this pasta dish. If you want to let it sit a little bit, you can let it sit. It's a good date night dish for you and your for you and your lady, and you and your man. Cut four slices right there. Then I have this this dish right here: just tomatoes, cilantro, pineapple. Don't really need any seasoning because you have the fruitiness of that pineapple. All I'm going to do to this is I'm going to add a little bit of cumin. Just a touch on that dish right there. A little bit of cumin. Toss it in the bowl. And that's ready to go right on top. Next I'm going to get this ready because that's been sitting long enough. Had to wash off my spatula. Right here. You pretty much have had all this sitting in there and it's set to go. I'm going to season it to a little bit of salt and pepper and that's ready to go as well. Pork chops and cabbage, yes. Today I just started something simple. Can you see the bottom of the pizza pasta? Sure. Give me one second. kind of see the color is not too well but it's kind of brown and I'm gonna have a guest here she just showed up what's going on Jessica 
Hey, Brandon. This is my friend. She's from Alabama. She showed up to come eat. So she's going to try the pizza pasta. Yes. And... There's my forks. <laughs> I, I, I change around this kitchen so much I forget where I put stuff. All right. So I know I probably have been in the other room while he was cooking. Um, so I'm just going to go through. I love the textures of it. The colors are great. Um, I can tell that you used a seasoned, is it chicken or sauce? That's chicken, sausage, mushrooms, uh, some prego. Yeah. That works for me. Hey, anything that works. Next, we're going to plate up the Italian chicken. Yeah. It's cheesy, which I like. So, take it out of your, out of this bowl. Assemble it on the plate. That's good. Tastes very, very good. It's um, I like how it's balanced. Um, it has, like I said, the chicken sausage is very flavorful. I can taste the mushrooms, the pasta. It's just this very simple dish that I highly recommend making. There's our chicken. Rinse this off. Just get her putting everything ready to go. Yeah, she does live near me. How'd you know? Yeah. Next, take the relish. Right over top. Little fruitiness. Little body. And you just have to go. Another good picture there. You see? all the beautiful colors and everything else. I'll, goodbye, I'll see you next week. Yes. There's dessert. Um, take pictures, enjoy it. And last but least, our Papio should be just about ready right now. So I'll show you that real quick and uh, pretty much get ready and end this show today. And um, next week we'll have some more stuff. Like I said, always follow me on the Buckeye Chef or follow the producer, I Am Prophecy. Yes. Give us recipe ideas, give us menu items you want to see, and I'll bring them back next week for you. Okay. So. I want to step out of your way. Thank you, everyone. Hope you enjoy the show more, and we'll be popping in and out. Have a great day. All right. Last but least. Thank you, thank you. This is the poppy oak. Move this out the way. So you get a good view for you guys here. All right. Open up your foil. I mean, your, your plastic. If you have foil, use foil. Bam. The nice fruit. Vegetables have been steamed. And it's ready to go. Try and get up close. Looks real pretty. Yeah, so you know your fish is done when your fish starts to sweat a little bit. A little bit of sweat coming off here. So guys, just a few quick recipes to introduce you to the Buckeye Chef and show you what's going on. Show you what we can do here. Made three meals that you can try at home. Actually, hey, try them out for the week. Send me some pictures at the uh, Buckeye Chef at the Buckeye Chef on Twitter and let me know what it's about. Piece of pasta, tiny of chicken, salmon papio. Sounds good. So guys. Bon appetit, let's eat. And next week, we're gonna get cooking. Um, wish you all were here. And um, you're thinking of doing a cooking stream too as well? Try it out and do it. I recommend anybody to uh, have the passion for cooking, go ahead and try it out. Hey, that's right, I am not a skinny chef. I'm a big guy and uh, I like it. Um, skinny chefs don't use to eat all their foods, don't taste a lot of stuff. So, you're right, Cartel. Um, about to end this stream, we'll see you next week, same time, same channel. Once again, I am Prophecy, at the Buckeye Chef. Give me your ideas, give me your uh, pictures. Till then, next week, make Frosted Flakes. It's a good idea. Till, till then.